This is uh, how to install a gable in a solar fan to cool off your attics. It'll be the best gable uh, vent fan that you'll ever be able to purchase. Uh, that's four 15 watt panels up on top of the roof that I purchased. I bought them used, so I paid 160 for the four panels. Uh, made my own little railing out of uh, some uh, uh, aluminum 2x4s uh, and uh, wired it down into the house and uh, it's about 3.30 in the afternoon right now so let's go see what we got here <clears throat> what happened was is I looked into uh, solar fans and I couldn't find good solar fan reviews anywhere and I said to myself well, why? You know, because if they cost three hundred and fifty to four hundred dollars to make, why is it not a good thing? Okay, so I just put, I went to an auto parts store and I bought the uh, electrical wiring feed harness for cars. You know, because it sits underneath your engine compartment. Wrapped it in that, put some electrical tape around it, brought it down, put some clamps on there to hold it in place. Put it into a, a four-inch junction box. Bought some uh, lamp wire, okay, about eight feet. I then opened my uh, uh, gable end up. I had to because this is a uh, almost a non-accessible gable end to this house. This is a 40 by 20 foot living room, and uh, I was having major heat problems because the the eaves in this house had been closed up with no exhaust anywhere. So I was hitting 140 degrees up inside the house. And uh, so I said to myself, what would be the best way to go about doing this? And it hit me. That is a, I believe it's a uh, Toyota, went to the junkyard, car, radiator, cooling fan. Did you hear me? It is a 12 volt Toyota car, radiator, cooling fan. Got it pick apart for, I think it was 16 plus tax. And by the way, you can buy a brand new car radiator fan for 40 bucks. So if anything ever goes, meaning the fan goes, because that's what's going to go, then I just open this up and I screw in a new fan. It cost me $20 for a pick apart, 40 bucks for a brand new one. Think about it this way. What do you think the life expectancy is of a fan uh, when you're talking about the internal workings of a car next to a radiator? Uh, blowing as hard as it possibly can. Now, let's see here. We'll go over here. We're going to go look at here. My outside ambient temperature right now is what? Oh, let's see here. It's not going to give me a reading, is it? Uh, it's not the... Yeah, it's 96 degrees right now. Okay. So it's 96 degrees. And we're going to go up the ladder. Because I'm very, very curious. You can hear the fan. And by the way, it's 3:30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon right now. So we've lost a lot of power in the sun. And uh, it was 96 outside. And uh, you can hear the fan kicking away. Uh, my inside internal temperature inside my house in my attic was uh, at only a foot above my attic door. So I would imagine that my internal temperature of my attic was about 140, 150. And as you can see right now, uh, we're at 102. It's 96 outside, we're getting 102. Uh, which means my air conditioning is going to work better. As you can see, I just uh, it actually uh, uh, just 
perfectly fit between two joists. This is a 16 inch base joist. The fans, uh, it was like 13 inches, fits right in there. I made an internal box, okay, so it's sealed, okay, and I'll put a normal, uh, uh, which we'll call it, uh, rain shield on the front, you know, just so I don't get rain in the house, obviously. And I'm going to do some painting. Actually, the temperature dropped down to 100 right now. And uh, I'd say this was an unbelievable win-win situation. So 160 for the panels and $20 for the fan and, uh, you know, six or seven bucks for the parts to put it all together. And we are talking less than $200 compared to $400 and I read review after review after review after review that they don't work, they burn out, they fry after six months. And this car, radiator cooling fan, is going to go, 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 go. And you know it. And then when it stops, I want to go to pick a part and buy another one and it will go, 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 go. So anyways, there you have it. Save yourself a fortune. Build this. Pretty simple. Any questions, go ahead and uh, send it to me. And uh, there it is. You'll save yourself a fortune. Uh, so it's fluctuating between 100, 102, 104. Fabulous. Bye.